children that are going through a difficult time and, and when they need stuff so this builds our self-esteem going through you know things and stuff that they need and I think it's you know an amazing charity I really do although you can't see it's all toiletry items that people donate so it's like a program we call wash away your sins and it's sin city so we ask people to donate toiletries So that's how everything comes in those big, in these big containers at the at the hotels, and then they're just filled with random suitcases and garbage bags and everything. And then we bring them here and we train the teenagers how to go through every bag. And if it's good, we you know hang it, wash it, and distribute it. And if it's not something that we can use, we either donate it to another charity, and if it's just like end of the road and cannot be used, we give it to the rescue. Shirts without buttons, just for the fabric. I don't know what kind of deal and who, but I know they get paid. So how do you guys get some of these uh, clothing and some of these donations? Yeah, well, we've been around in Las Vegas since 1967, so we have partnerships with lots of the different hotels, especially downtown hotels that have been here for a long time, and the airport. And people leave their entire suitcase behind. If you're running late for a flight, I don't know. Like I do not know. They just leave everything behind. Um, and then the, um, all of our toiletry donations comes from locals and from the hotels. We have tons, like, they'll change out their soap and then they'll just call and say, we have 3,000 bottles of shampoo, do you want it? So of course we want it. And then we can give it to the schools in the um, counselor's offices. They're called fossil workers. And so if the child or family comes in and says, we're homeless or we're in need, we can meet those people's needs. So, yeah. yes, when you get maybe dirty clothing, how do you get them cleaned up? Oh, we have a washer and dryer inside, okay. and we have and women. Even you know, we have lots of members. That we've had up to 350 members over the years, and it's like a party inside. And everybody is inside. Just you never know what you're gonna find in these bags, and so it's like pure comedy. And you're in there, and people are happy. You never think these kids would want to do laundry and do dishes, but the teenagers actually are. They have such a great time. And it's, we have people from 80 years old to 8 years old, like with their moms, with their grandmothers, or just total strangers, but everybody just works as a team. So it's really it's fun. Okay. Awesome. And um, we got into volunteers. How do you recruit you? Um, well, we have a lot of members. We've had a lot of, you know, tons and tons of members over the years, and so it's a lot of word of mouth. We partner with other charities, and so because we partner with their events, then people meet us and see who we are and what we do, and so when we're bringing, you know, truckload after truckload after truckload of toiletries and um, clothing to the events, they want to know where we got it and how they can help, and so they come and they help us, when, you know, when it's a Tuesday awesome. or whatever they have to give, because we brought everything to their event and sponsored it with them, so then in return, they come to us, so we're very much about community collaboration. You also partner with other uh, organizations like NGOs and. Uh... Well, our sign says that we're here for for underprivileged children. So if a charity has underprivileged children or family services, we will be there. Okay. Also, some of these uh, items would you also want to collaborate with probably international organizations? Do you our have such, uh... says that we are strictly a Nevada charity. So all. Donations. Can you a little bit tell uh, our viewers 
how you get access to some of these uh, conditions? Um, generally, we work with the court system, with family court, and so, for instance, if you get taken away from your family, you get put with the, the next of kin. And then if you don't have a family member that wants to take you, you go into foster care or a group home. But when you do that, you um, we're at the top of a list for, for resources. And then also there's, it's called Peggy's Closet over there. And so they provide like your first one to five outfits, depending on your need. And then we're on the list for overflow. And then sometimes you get a home, you get housed. And so we provide pots and pans, lamps, microwaves, anything that we might have, we're happy to provide that. Get a call for a whole five bedroom house full of furniture, right? And I've got two U Hauls out here filled with furniture. Like, what am I going to do with this? And then, boom, family court calls and says, I need two houses furnished. Okay, I've got the trucks, send them over with their trucks. I don't even unload the U Hauls. They, it's like heaven. And they come here and they have their trucks and they unload it straight from my truck to their truck. So, that's how it just, it's like the universe just works that way. The public who are probably distressed needs assistance, how can they reach you? Well, I don't really have access for the general public because I don't have enough to go around. So what we do with the public, we have, we used to have um, farmers markets inside the schools, we partnered with Three Square, our food bank. So that is how we reached out to the, the masses and the mass public is we would have food distribution centers inside all of the schools and clothing inside of the schools but as far as the public goes we don't service just the general public we service this through the school district and we service through um, the court system because those are the people who are really the most in need and then we you know moms groups and things like that if we have it left over we'll give it but it's just we don't have we don't have it and we would be here 24 7 my phone never stops ringing, so I would be seven. here 24-7. Like, that's my phone. The calls come to here and go to my phone, because we don't work out of this office a lot of times. We're always around town meeting needs, and so I would never be able to take time. If I got, if I met every need that I got, I would never stop running, ever. You as we proceed. Thank you. A broken zipper or anything like that, it's still good if you're homeless. You just need something on wheels to get you where you want to go. And then if it's a really good suitcase, then, um, you know, or whatever, so they get to have a suitcase. And this is the washing or, yeah, this is the dryer actually, the washing machine is here. So if anything's dirty, we just make piles of clothes. Nothing was really dirty today because it's already been sorted through already. But um, there's our tiny sink and they have to actually hand wash and hand dry the dishes. And sometimes we get a ton of dishes donated from um, like the butlers and the stewards and the casinos. They'll change all their patterns of their silverware or their dishes and we'll get like 3,000 plates and the whole place is just filled with plate and they just like go to town on the dishes and every single thing in this office was a donation like all of our furniture every single thing was a donation we don't spend any money <laughs> oh, you're 
Yeah. And then, yeah, we've got this cute little popcorn maker. So I think I'm gonna keep it. So we're gonna make popcorn for everyone. So what are you waiting for? You just... You need some popcorn? Uh, I'm waiting for this mess to clean up. Alright, so <laughs> you just um, have to locate... What's the address again? 1510 South Maryland Parkway. Parkway, yeah. And, uh, and so this room in here... Who is the contact person? Um, either me, okay, <laughs> Jennifer so. Young, or Sandra Vessio. She's our president. And it will even pour it over. So yeah, this is just more donations. And it usually... all in this room until we sort through it and put it out in the garage so this yeah so we just like these are this are one this is this belts here this is one airport pickup this is how many pe belts people leave behind and we only get four picks up pickups a year so I think the airport does a pickup once a month with different charities and this is how many belts people leave when they go through security <laughs> in one month at McCarran Airport oh and that box too Inside the, inside the box. So you won't say that most persons shop, probably they go to fashion show mall? We do pickups from fashion show mall. Okay. We do get the pickup from fashion show as well. And so, like last week, they gave us a gun that they found in the bushes. <laughs> they were like, we get everything. And also from casinos, right? Yeah, from a lot of the downtown casinos. I think, I'm trying to think where we pick. We don't really do a lot of, well, we do the Bellagio. And Harris, that's it on the strip. But we do a lot of downtown, and then we have a lot of members who, you know, just donate, 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 and they tell their friends. And so all of this will be gone and new stuff by two weeks from now. If it weren't for coronavirus, this stuff would have been long, long, long gone. But we had, and we had a freak accident where a truck hit the wires outside of our building, so we couldn't come in for two weeks, two months, because we couldn't get anyone to fix all of the electricity and everything. But now we're back in business. To either the, if, like for instance, this is a good backpack. It has no writing on it. So we'll give that to a kid. But then this has like um, a convention on it. But it's still a great bag, so we give this to a homeless person. So all the good name brand things we give to the kids so that they can feel good and be cool. And then um, like this, it's a convention. So we'll give that to homeless people on, you know, on Foremaster, Las Vegas Boulevard down there. And we just go, open the back of um, the car, and they know, they just come right away and take it, take all the bags and pass it out. It's a great day. So yeah, we save everything and it looks like a big mess, but it really does have some, some organization. And by the time we leave today, it will be totally organized. Wow, do you also welcome uh, visitors, maybe people to come check in? Yeah, yes. of course. And like, we want volunteers, we, the more the merrier. Like from every, we definitely want people to come in and spend their time and, okay. and volunteer at our events that we, have. we like Juneteenth, we're partnered with that. We want people to come and, and be a part of that. We're giving away, you know, we're, we're the food um, part of Juneteenth. So if people wanted to come and help us give away food and water, like that's what our volunteers do. Awesome. And um, what are your days of um, your visitation? When we get donations, okay. honestly. Like, we do pickups every Tuesdays and Thursdays. So then on Wednesdays, we definitely always have volunteers here. And um, it's an all day thing because we have so many donations. Um, what most days we're out and about, we're at other people's businesses. Like, that's how I met with you all. Like, I was at someone else's, you know business supporting them so we're not here a lot there's not there's nothing that we can do to better the community standing here in, in all of these clothes we have to hurry up and get this done and get out and, and pass them out you know so can you a little bit uh, tell us your phone number and um, sure the St. Jude's website number. email we don't have a website I don't know we still need a website after 52 years um, you can go on Instagram and see a little of what we do at wash away your sins and then our phone number is 702-386-0772 once again 386 or 702-386-0772 and wash away your sins on Instagram and then you can look at penny for thought and that's one of our programs through the school with Three Square Food Bank because we can buy, let's see, it's with every nine cents we can buy a pound of food and then we get free produce, free bakery, and free dairy. So we were able to do the free farmer's markets this way. 
And so for nine cents a pound, we're able to buy the food and stock the pantries and the schools year round. So that's where the Penny for Thought, because if you can't eat, you cannot think. So you can also go on Facebook and look at Penny for Thought. Awesome. Yeah. Um, let's a little bit uh, talk to some of the volunteers. You guys ready to talk? Yeah, I yeah. am. Do you want to say hi okay, to uh, and This is Heather, hi. and she's our volunteer. Yeah, she's awesome. I'm from St. Jude's Women's Auxiliary. <laughs> and I'm here today with my son and his best friend, Sam. Oh. And, I'm Sam. And we're sorting through clothing. Wow. And this is keeping the children busy and doing something positive. Because there's no school. And I'm laid off from work, so this keeps me busy. Wow. <laughs> so for how long have you been with uh, this organization? As a uh, about a month. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so, so kind of new. Her and I met on Facebook, and you know, we've been talking and stuff, and I said, you know, I can help you out. I think it's such a wonderful program. Mm -hmm. So, and then I'm adding the children in, and they're learning a lot about clothing. Wow. <laughs> yep, I'm learning a lot. <laughs> so, we're separating men's, women's, children, and you know, different things, and every time they come up with a Lingerie, guys, don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of nice clothing here too. Okay. Yeah, good brands cool. and quality. A lot of it's new. Um, yeah, so just like that. And I'm just like, wow. <laughs> don't get shy. Just awesome. So, uh, what would you like to tell the public about St. Jude's? I just think it's a wonderful program. I mean, it, it helps you know parents and children that are going through a difficult time and, and when they need stuff. So this builds our self-esteem going through you know things and stuff that they need and I think it's you know an amazing charity I really do it's amazing you know like <laughs> you know when you don't got clothes they got clothes for you like, like you know like also yeah also. amazing also it is amazing yeah. and that's how are you excited? so um I would encourage you guys to check us out on uh social media platforms we are on uh, youtube digital wheel tv okay on instagram on facebook on twitter okay and um, you can also check out our digital wheel tv store oh okay on it alumni okay the store i'm gonna write this down right so uh, <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna see that this is gonna be broadcasted for the world to also see